Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to episode 62 of the Rainbow Bridge. My name is Rena Dwelly. I am a master dowser, master geomancer, and spiritual alchemist. I assist beautiful souls all over the world in welcoming abundant health, wellness, success, and happiness into their lives. Today, I have a special treat for you. Now, this episode is pre-recorded because it is Christmas week. So um, just like you, I am spending time with my beloved family and friends and celebrating the end of 2019. This has been a very adventurous year for all of us, um, myself included. Uh, actually, on Friday, we celebrate my mom's life. Um, a year ago, she was diagnosed, diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. And that's not the actual diagnosis date, but that's the day she was admitted to the hospital and was very sick. So um, I am celebrating her life because she's still here with me. And I am so very grateful for that. Now, in February of last year, I had a very special guest join my spiritual advisory team. I am very, very in tune with my guides and um, I do my work every single day. And it was kind of a shell shocker when Prince stepped into my life. <laughs> I was asking for something more. Um, I knew that my journey was transforming and there was something new I wanted to do and offer the world that was unique and special. And my husband was supposed to be a big part of this. My husband is my twin flame. And I know that's actually a little cliche <laughs> and some other day we'll talk about twin flames, <laughs> but I am married to my twin flame who challenges me and grows with me. And we just a we make a beautiful pair and um, I'm so very grateful. So about last February, my grandma started coming to me in my dreams. My grandma passed away when I was about four years old and she told me there were some changes I needed to make concerning my health. So I started making these changes and um, I'm, I'm kind of a balls to the wall girl. I'm a Taurus Capricorn Capricorn. So I'm really all in. And when it's time to make changes, I'm cold turkey all the way. <laughs> so I stopped doing these certain things that I was doing concerning my health, you know, eating better, things like that. And um, one day I'm driving down the street and I look over and I see Prince. Now I work with all of my Claire's. So I feel, I hear, I sense, I know, I see. I smell. He was very present and I kind of thought I was going crazy. Now, <laughs> I actually had this conversation with my friend Brandy the other day and she said the same thing that I had been thinking for a long time. I think a lot of us think that these very special artists are off limits to us, but they're not. And um, truly, I I don't know. It's just like I tuned into a radio wave frequency and connected with this energy in a very magical way. And I was very startled and um, <laughs> I couldn't believe it for some time. So I wasn't sure exactly what he was doing in my life. But a few months before, my husband and I had started making what is actually known as the keys of the universe. So this is the alchemy key. And this was actually just scrap that my husband and I were doing some projects with, making some things, upgrading my work. Um, he was going to throw these in the scrap pile. And I was like, oh, my God, no, it like lit up like Christmas. And um, I wasn't sure at that time what we were going to do with them. I just knew that they were very special. So this is where Prince steps in. And he started sharing... <laughs> beautiful information about how these incredible tools could be used by people to change their lives. This is the Aurora Borealis key. And this is the dragon key. This is what we have out so far. 
So he, <laughs> Prince is very motivated. Um, and we got to work right away. I started downloading this information from him. Um, and he starts telling me to write down all this information. I, I work with him to do these activations. He's very present in every piece of this work. <clears throat> and then I, I let them sit on my coffee table for a while because I'm like, how in the world am I going to tell my friends <laughs> that I'm working with Prince? Well, one day I just uh, took a picture of them and I sent it to them and uh, Kelly and Tracy were the first ones to see them. <clears throat> and I was like, what do you guys think of these? And they were like, oh my God, these are incredible. The energy is just radiating off of these things. So I sent them each a key and I told them to play with them and let me know what their experience was. Uh, I remember Tracy telling me that her dreams were very vivid. Uh, she was able to make sense of her dreams. They were very clear. Um, and it was almost like they were leading a very clear bread trail as to what she was supposed to do next. And Kelly, <laughs> Kelly's incredible. She's a very magical soul as well. So we're all about working with fairies and gnomes and if you look through these they are very elemental oriented so that was one of the first things kelly had told me and then people started having profound um changes with them like kelly started to tell me how she was transforming her pain and like clearing it from her body i was like wow this is fascinating everybody's kind of working with these in different ways so then I connected with my friend Brandy to get some details. Now this was like, I don't know, March, April, something like that. And Brandy's like, oh my God, these are, these are really cool, Arena. This is really special. And he is a very important piece of your life. And um, you got to get these out. You got to share these with the world. So Brandy was the next to have them. Um, and Brandy is my my business advisor, I like to call her. Now, I myself am a medium, but I find it very important that I work with a medium as well, because sometimes, you know, I don't hear some of the little things that I should be hearing. I'm good at helping everybody else with their messages, just like I'm sure you are, you know, as a healer or a medium or whatever you might be, you're good at sharing your gifts. But sometimes when it comes to receiving your gifts back, <laughs> you're not always so good at that. So I knew some bits and pieces, but she helped me um, figure out a release date and um, hammer down some details. And the alchemy key was released on July 18th, 2019. Now this key is really incredible. This is all about using spiritual alchemy to turn the heavy lead pieces of your life into uplifting gold shimmering pieces. It's all about transformation with this key. It's really, really, really beautiful. The energy is incredible. Um, I just really love it. Now, some people say they're very grounding, which is interesting to me. These are, um, they have some very cosmic activations to them. So I can see that I can I can totally see how these are have a grounding feel but to me they're they're very cosmic so um we then released the aurora borealis key on October 10th now this is I work with quantum crystalline rays and when I see this key just like the northern lights if you ever see the pictures of like um NASA with the Aurora Borealis coming onto Earth. This is what I see, these quantum crystalline rays coming in this beautiful vortex of energy and all of these beautiful quantum rays, these quantum qualities are accessible through this key. So this one is kind of the best way to describe it, like bowling bumpers for your soul pass. Um, that was actually a review I received from my beautiful friend, Kelly. She said, this is like bowling bumpers for your life. It's really beautiful energy. And it is. And again, um, whereas this, you know, has 
a certain lens. This one has like a rainbow lens to look through. Um, it's really cool. And then on November 23rd, we released the Dragon Keys. Now these are all about prosperity and abundance and there are special activation points in your home. So, okay, your front door is one of them. So you're gonna hang it over your front door and say your doorknob is on this side. You want this ring to be on the opposite side of your door handle. So you're gonna square door, okay? Place this above your door just like this with the loop opposite of your door handle and then one in the southeast direction of your home and one in the northwest. And the southeast activates the golden angle of abundance and the northwest activates the silver sparkle of opportunities. Now these should never be placed in kitchens, bathrooms, laundry rooms, anywhere where you flush water or have drains for water because that in turn would create a feng shui aspect of flashing, flushing opportunities down the drain. So um, pretty incredible energy. I have received amazing feedback from each piece that we have so far released. And there are more coming. Um, <laughs> so funny story. I wasn't gonna release this one until January. Um, I wanted to take a break. But Prince is really pushing for me to get this out in November. And he kind of tricked me. He's kind of funny like that. That's his Gemini aspects. <laughs> um, so he told me I could release this in January. So then I get with Brandy to hammer down some of the fine details, make sure I'm on the right track. And um, he told her that absolutely no, I was gonna miss a window if I didn't release these on November 23rd. So I literally had two weeks, two weeks to get these up and rocking and rolling and um, they're amazing. They're really, really incredible. So early in the new year in 2020, we will be releasing the revolution key, rich chakra key. He wants chakra keys out. And um, there's a gridding system for your homes and your offices from, for energetic protection from EMF, things like that, that will be coming very soon. Um, he's incredible and he is very humanitarian. He wants to offer these to the world in order for people to evolve and transform their lives. His spirit is incredible. He makes me laugh so much. I mean, I've always been a Prince fan, but I was never the fan girl who knew anything. You know what I mean? Um, I had watched Purple Rain since I was a little kid. Um, I knew his music, such as Little, Cor little Red Corvette, um, Purple Rain, Delirious, you know, some of those big hits, of course, I knew just because they played on the radio. So, um, <laughs> It's been really an adventure to get to know the spirit of Prince. And he is absolutely beautiful and incredible. And each piece that he shares with me, there is a confirmation piece that goes along with it. So there's this little story I like to share. Um, this was October. So my friend Kelly here in Bismarck, she had sent me this picture of a magazine and she said, hey, my friend in Florida sent this to me. I thought I'd send it to you, stay on the lookout. Thought you might be interested in checking some of this out. Um, I went to the store and I found it that night. <laughs> it was fun. I was like, hey, this is cool. I found, found something on Prince and it had some articles about some of his songs, something, some things about who he was. Um, you know, just as the beautiful soul who walked the earth. A few days later, I had a coffee date with my friend Katie. <laughs> we went to Barnes and Noble and we were standing back in the new age section, looking at some new tarot cards, things like that. And um, I happened to look over to my left where the periodicals were and there was a prince 
magazine and he was staring at me and I was like, oh my God. And Katie's like, oh my God. <laughs> so we kind of laughed about it because she knows my story with Prince that I'm working with him. And we decided now to go get our coffee and sit down. So we head back out to our right, start walking down the aisles where all the new release books are. So um, all by its lonesome sitting on this table, there is a Prince book called I Would Die For You. So I pick it up and she's like, I don't know, Rena, this is kind of crazy. I think you need to have this. So I didn't argue. Um, I took it up to the counter and I paid for it. And I asked if it was a new release. And the lady was like, I'm not quite sure, but I can find out. And I was like, well, I can read the copyright date. So I took my little bag and we went and sat down and had coffee and visited. And she was actually there to pick up an Aurora Borealis key. So <laughs> um, it was a great visit. Um, and this was on a Sunday. So I think it was that night. Nope. The next night, um, I had this dream that I was in the middle of a field and Prince had picked me up on his motorcycle. And I hop on the back and we just go riding and it was very freeing and that's the whole dream. It was just me riding the motorcycle with Prince and we're driving down this highway, um, North Dakota, Minnesota, you know, highway. Um, just the scenery, I could tell that's kind of where we were. So that was the whole dream. Now the next morning, my aunt is like, hey, how's it going? And we were having this conversation and I was like, hey, I gotta tell you this crazy story. I already thought it was crazy that I had this magazine and then I found this book and then I had this dream. And she's like, oh, by the way, I saw something. And it was actually from the day before, but it was an advertisement that his um, book, The Beautiful Ones was being released that day. Now, I miss things sometimes, but I was not about to miss that message. So <laughs> I hopped in my car, in my PJs, and I got in my car and I went to Barnes & Noble to pick up the beautiful ones. Now, this book is absolutely incredible. If you have not read it, I absolutely highly recommend. You can see I still have some pieces to read. Now, he had a co-author with that book, um, but most of it is in his handwriting. Um, there are pictures of his handwriting. There are pictures of him just over the years, pictures of him as a child. Really, really incredible. Um, it is through this book that I have actually received a lot of the confirmations of things that he has shared with me personally about himself about why he chose me to do this work. Um, so it has really been a godsend for me. Um, I love it. <laughs> it's magical. Prince has helped me through some of the darkest times in the past year with my mom being sick. I also lost my grandpa to something. Um, it was never confirmed that it was pancreatic cancer, but it may as well have been just because we have also lost my father-in-law to pancreatic cancer in September 2018. So um, what my grandpa had, it was very, very similar, um, just fast and hard. And, um, and he, he has made sure that I sit down think about what I need to think about, regroup and pick up the pieces. He has helped me stay focused on my path. Um, I highly believe and have been confirmed by my friends who are mediums as well, that I am walking my soul path. So these keys are a big piece and there are they are released on certain days because of the activation points they do for the planet. So it's really, really interesting. Um, even just last week, I had kind of a kind of a really rough day, and the next day, I you know I didn't sleep very well. But I got up and I was just like, "Hey, um, Prince, I I really need you to just be present in my life," and no joke. <laughs> 
I think I sat down twice that morning because I had so much on my to-do list. And each time I did, something on the TV popped up to joke about Prince. It was like he was there and he's like saying, hey, I'm here with you. This is fun. We can have fun together and I need you to laugh. And it totally has uplifted me. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. He speaks to me through song. Um, a lot of times I'll get confirmations. <laughs> In fact, I just received one of my most favorite confirmations from him right before I began recording this episode. So every time I release a key and I go live to talk about it, so the three times I've released a key so far, there's a special song that comes on and I'm going to, I'm going to keep that private <laughs> just because that's my special confirmation. Um, but it, it plays literally if I have to get in the car right after, or I turn on Pandora, it'll, it'll pop on. I mean, it is like lickety split magic. It is crazy. <laughs> um, now, one of my first customers for the Alchemy Keys, she is on the Prince Wave as well. And she sent me a voice recorded message about the powerful energy she experienced when she unwrapped her, her Alchemy Key. And in the background of her message, that song was playing and it was so profound to me. Laura, I, <laughs> if you're listening to this, Thank you. I'm, I'm so glad you're on the Prince Wave with me. Anyway, so right before I started recording this message, that same song popped up for me. And it was like, all right, he's happy. Um, that's like just a huge confirmation that I'm, I'm doing the work. Um, I'm in the right place at the right time and doing exactly what I'm supposed to do. It, it's pretty, pretty powerful work. Like I said, um, I was never really this huge Prince fangirl or anything. I knew very, very little about him. In fact, I live in Bismarck, North Dakota. I was raised in South Dakota. Um, I, you know, really probably didn't pay attention until the last few years that he lived in Chaska, Minnesota. And that is literally six hours away from where I live. I can hop in the car right now and be there, you know, in just a few hours. It's also pretty profound to me that my best friend lives in Minneapolis. Um, so it, it's crazy. Um, what's also crazy is that her name reversed was one of his uh, pseudonyms. So <laughs> Tracy, I love you. <laughs> um, this, this beautiful soul has come to the earth and there are quite a few people who are riding the purple wave connecting in with the energy i am so grateful that i am one of these people even my husband has said when we go out in public he's like wow there are sure a lot of prince things around for you to take notice of um and he mark is my biggest fan i i could not do what i do without him and without you. Each one of you are so important to me and to just be able to be in a society where I am free to talk about these things. It wasn't very long ago that I probably wouldn't have ever been to been able to release that I was working with this really beautiful energy. So um, thank you for being a part of my journey. Thank you for allowing me to be who I am. And thank you for connecting in with my big, beautiful, bright white light too. <laughs> so um, there are some other things I wanted to tell you. No, I can't think of it. Oh, goodness sakes. <sighs> Don't shut yourself out from the world. Invite these energies to come in so you can work with them. Maybe it's Prince. Maybe it's somebody else. Um, my friend Brandy is very connected in with Joey Ramone. And her messages and signs and symbols that she receives are very similar to what I experience with Prince. It is unbelievable. 
um, Brandy, you are so incredible and I am so grateful you are a part of my life too. And I'm so grateful that I have been able to share this journey with you. It wasn't very long ago that Brandy told me that right around the same time that Prince came into my life, that Joey came into her life. And she said that she always tells people that Joey is her spirit animal. It's pretty amazing. Do not limit yourself. Don't set labels on yourself. There are incredible spirits out there who are ready to assist you on your journey ahead. All you have to do is be ready, able, and connect in with that energy. Now, over the past year with Prince, past 11 months, my life has changed even more. There were pieces I needed to release in order to really connect in and pay attention to this energy to like really align with that wave. Um, there's even more. So <laughs> I've recently become a vegetarian per Prince. Now it was kind of happening anyway um, for the last few years um, doing shadow work and clearing and um, realigning myself, connecting in with my highest light. Um, your diet tends to change. So I haven't really been able to eat meat for quite some time. A lot of meat would make me very ill. Um, so just recently I have went vegetarian um, and that's leaning more towards we're going vegan kind of thing. But um, right now it's just vegetarian and I think that's a really amazing change. I'm very proud of myself and I feel absolutely amazing. So like I said, um, welcome these spirits into your life. Listen to what they say. Pay attention to the sensitivities of your body because our guides are totally helping us realign. Now I know vegetarian isn't for everyone. And something I recently just discovered is that Prince, Prince was a vegan. And at Paisley Park, he didn't allow any products that weren't vegan onto his property. And that's pretty profound. Um, like I said, just amazing confirmations coming through in all sorts of directions. Um, just really beautiful things. My friends are sharing things with me for me to get to know him a little better. I'm reading books. It is really, really beautiful. I am hoping to, at some point connect in with his co-author here and just tell him how special he really was to Prince because Prince has shared some really beautiful messages about the beautiful soul who helped him write this book. So with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. We are heading into 2020 within the next week. Do your releasing work get your priorities straight, get it on paper, um, get ready. Happy, <laughs> happy eclipse day. We are in a solar eclipse in Capricorn. If that's not a message to get your poop in a group, get your priorities straight and get ready to go into the best year of your life. I don't know what is. So I will be back next week. I have a very special guest, um, Danae Sweet of Witchy Woman Podcast. She's going to have some of her really incredible wares available um, to share with you and talk about how you can use some of these in your life. Um, one of my favorite things of Danae's is she does these pine cones, and I don't know quite how she does it, and that's okay, but they're really magical. But they burn green and blue flames. So my husband and I, for Yule, we actually took little strips of paper and we rolled them up with our wishes wrote on them and I burned it. Um, it was something I'd found on Pinterest and these pine cones just happened to be sitting with my all my stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. And Mark and I had some of the most fun doing that, setting our intentions for the new year. Um, so I'm so excited to share that next week's show with you. <laughs> so until then, I will see you. Have a very safe and blessed holiday season. 
May you be blessed with love, light, and magic. <laughs>